So guys, you're recent back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will show you how to do a perfect pipe wise, pipe wise assembly. So let's get started. If you have gone through the previous videos, you can see that we made 4 to 5 different parts which were a part of assembly. I can show you right here. This is how it's going to look like and we made all the parts which were handle, handle screw, pipe wise, movable jaw, the base, etc. So now we are going to assemble all of them so that it looks something like this. So let's get started. First of all, file new. This time we will choose product because we are going to make an assembly. And I can just rename it to be called as assembly or pipe wise assembly. Pipe wise assembly. Apply, okay, there we go. I'm going to save it under assembly one. That looks fine. Save. So now I right click and go to components and click on existing components because I already have made all these parts, right? So I'm going to select all these parts and click open. Attempt to import a product. There is a cycle between the target or between and the imported product. Click okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. So we need to fix one of the parts. So it automatically opened up with the assembly design, as you can see. But if it's showing you some other, it might be product structure or it could be anything else by default with Katia. What you have to do is you have to go to mechanical design and click on assembly design. If it's not your default, and then you will see all these features right here, just like snap, manipulation, explode, and all these kind of features. The best way of starting an assembly is to fix one of the part, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on fix component and click on this base right here. So now that base is not going to move anywhere. Even if I try to move it, when I update it, it will automatically snap back to the existing position. So I just want to move all the parts first so that I have a clear view of what the components look like and where each of the components will go right so i have all these parts right here the screw the movable jaw handle and everything these are the only parts that i have basically five parts in total base handle screw handle movable jaw screw so let's see what we actually need so we need two of these Right, I think these, this is called handle screw. Yeah, we need two of handle screws. So, first things first, I'm just going to copy this. Right click, click on copy, go to the assembly, right click, and click on paste caching. And here we will have an option, we'll break link. So, by breaking link, there will be no connection between the, these two parts, even if I try to modify this particular part. So, it comes out to be copy one of handle screw. So, they are independent of each other. So now I can start with the assembly itself. So let's be a little bit practical here and try to understand how the things will actually work. So we have this screw right here. I'm going to make it coincidental. Double click on coincide and right here. And these two are going to be coincided, right? So you can see it's aligned in the wrong way. We need to be doing it in the other way around so i'm going to click on snap click on any flat surface twice and you will have this particular arrow click on that arrow and it will automatically flip it by 180 degrees just like we wanted so now we are not sure how the assembly is going to look like inside so i'm going to make the transparency of this particular base right click properties and go to graphic and i can change the transparency I can make it like 79 or 80 and anything that works for me so that I can see through the part itself and how the assembly is taking place. So my computer is lagging, so I'm just going to save with time on the side whenever I'm going to work with. So this was the first feature that I worked with and the first constraint that I made. I'm just going to move this slightly out, right? We have two of these. One is copy and where is the other one? And the screw is right there. Alrighty. 
handles two and okay there we go so now i will bring this right here and make this small sub assembly kind of face and you can see right here i'm just going to leave the compass on the side i'm going to go inside this right here update so it's aligned fine so i'm going to move it slightly uh, this part right here i want to move this part right here escape move this part slightly outwards so that i know that okay this needs to be moving the other way so i'm going to snap this part right here other direction looks good now i can coincide this with this update looks good so now i'm going to coincide this face with that flat face of the surface right here and click ok and update right there and same goes for this one flat surface and the other flat surface right here there we go and update perfect sounds good looks good as well so now we also know that if we go to the pdf they are coincidental with themselves so this is coincidental with this particular hole so the vice goes right here there we go and i'm going to align it right in the middle because in the pdf it looks exactly in the middle so i'm going to activate the planes all three planes right click and click hide show i got access to the planes right i'm going to do an offset constraint from this face to this particular plane of it yz plane and how much will i be keeping is exactly half of the total length right here so from here from this flat surface to the other side of it we have 184 so half of it is going to be 92 so i'm going to enter negative 92 right here and update perfect looks good I'm going to save it it says you have to save management i will tell you what's the difference for that as well i'm going to use the compass right here move this part slightly right update it looks good so now if i go back to the pdf you can see that the movable jaw is connected to the face so this face is directly coincided with the movable jaw top so this face and this face are connected this goes right there and also they are coincidental with this particular hole looks good perfect in a similar way now we can actually move this there we go if i move this then it automatically shows up if i move it more somewhere here update it there we go so that's how exactly the vice is going to work as you can see whenever because when you're going to tighten it up these two are going to be fixed together in real life so whenever you're going to move these two together or when you're going to tighten this up it's automatically going to get screwed and it will get tighter and tighter just like if you put a pipe inside right here somewhere and then you can tighten it up and it's going to be locked and clamped perfectly so the best way of so that's pretty much it so the best way of saving is file save management and that way it will automatically save all the files and you can click on ok and propagate directly it will automatically save all the files with that are associated with assembly itself as you can see and that's it so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for upcoming videos and we will be making more and more assemblies in future as well thank you once again take it easy bye